Ronald, before Joel comes in, I, I just need us to be on the same page. So I need you to agree with me no matter what. Well, the purpose of our therapy isn't for me to just side with you. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm definitely right about this. But I also know you try to do that thing where you alternate sides to be fair, so just, no. just don't do that today. Because I'm the client, not him. Oh, of course. Yeah, Joel! You're, I, I, um, I just want you to know that it's also my job to help you not sabotage this relationship. I like Joel. He feels like the first sincere guy you've brought in here. Oh, sorry. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Come on in. How are you? Good. Good. I just... Yeah, that door's a nightmare. All right. So? Uh, I just learned that the entire time Joel and I have been together, he has also had a girlfriend in New York. It's not. It's not what, Joel? She thought it was exclusive, and I thought it was exclusive, My so... whole life has been devoted to building this company. Oh, God. And, and I finally did it, and then I realized that I've missed out on this whole other part of my life, which was getting married and starting a family. So I made it my priority to find a wife, and I just didn't go about it the right way. What does that mean? I think it means he's a cheater, right? It means I cast this wide net to find a woman, and I didn't reel that net in when I finally met the right one. Meaning Danielle? Yes. I just got ahead of my skis. Oh, yeah. I like that expression. It's very, very visual. Got ahead of my skis. Yeah, and that does happen in life. Ronald, did you want to ask Joel how he ended it with her? Oh, uh, how did you end it? I stopped talking to her. No! He blocked her number. Okay, I'm sorry, can you imagine being with someone for over a year and then they just end it with you by blocking your number? That's like, a sociopath does that, no? Well, see how she just calls me names? No, well, let's no, not I'm... use names. No, no, I'm not, I wasn't calling you a name, I'm just, I'm confirming that is the definition of a sociopath, right? I just didn't know how to end it with the other girl and I didn't know how to tell Danielle, so I just didn't. Right because you got ahead of your skis. I love that. Ronald, Ronald, he exchanged naked photos with her on the night he asked me to marry him. Is that not a sociopath? I feel really bad. Okay, okay, so he says he feels bad, yet he won't call Sarah, Sarah and tell her that- Sarah is the other girl? Yeah. I'm gonna get a pen. No, Ronald, we don't, we, you don't need a pen. Mom, I'm already- So anyway, he won't call Sarah and tell her that he's a scumbag who cheated on her. Why does he need to call her when he already blocked her number? He needs to tell her so she knows he's a piece of shit. But he clearly wants to keep a plan B for when we don't work out. Do you want to work out? I don't know. Do you want to work out? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Okay, then call her. I'm not gonna call her! Then we're not gonna work out! If you're done with Sarah, why don't you call her and let her know that it's over? Absolutely not. I already heard her by blocking her number. You are so focused on not wanting to hurt her, but why are you not worried about hurting me? What about writing an apology email? No, I don't want to put anything in writing. Oh, he thinks he's a Silicon Valley celebrity or that he's going to run for president one day, so can't have a paper trail of his awful behavior. Why are we here? You obviously hate me, so why are we wasting our time? I, I, don't, I don't hate you. I just... I hate you because you're you're leaving the door open with her and because you're choosing her over us and yet you don't seem to understand that. So either call her or we're done. Ronald, do you, do, you, do you have anything you want to say? Or... I agree with Danielle. You, you should call Sarah and let her know it's over. See? Even a professional licensed therapist agrees with me. And you know that he's fair. Fine, I'll call her later tonight. Okay, well, you have to do it in front of me. I'm absolutely not doing it in front of you. Then we're done, Joel. That wouldn't be respectful to her, and I don't think it's respectful to you. Why are you choosing to respect me now? Well, he's saying that he'll call her. I think that's what you're asking of him. 
Okay, fine, then I'll leave the room and you can do it right now in front of Ronald. Oh, I I'm not sure I wanna hear the call. Well, you have to because he's now created trust issues, so someone has to witness the call. Fine, I'll do it in front of Ronald. You will? If that's what Danielle needs, then yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, Ronald, he has to have it on speakerphone so you can hear, and he has to tell her that he's a piece of shit cheater so she doesn't want to get back together with him. And then can we drop this whole thing? I want to make sure you understand that what you did was really wrong. And I, w I will never give you another chance if I catch you cheating again. I would never cheat. Okay, but you did, so you can see my concern. Understood. Okay. I guess I'll be in the waiting room, but I don't know why. It's just taking more time now. Someone has to come out and get me when we're done with this. Uh, you know, I can stand in the corner or, or bill insurance, so I'm not really paying attention. No, it's fine. Hi, Sarah, it's Joel. Uh, you've probably been wondering why I blocked your number. I've been cheating on you, and things got serious with the other girl. I'm now engaged. Um, if I hurt you, I'm sorry about that. That's obviously not good. Uh, you're a really sweet girl, and you don't deserve to be hurt. Okay, take care. Ciao. That was fast. Did she call you an asshole? I left her a voicemail. Oh, come on. Ugh. He asked for a minute. It's fine. So what, so he left her a voicemail? Uh, yes. And? Uh, it's just, it's just, knowing that that poor girl is going to hear that awful voicemail, yeah. you know, it, I have a knot in my stomach now. It was bone chilling. Bone chilling? Like when something chills you to the bone. And then he ended the conversation with chow. It was so cold, so disconnected. Like a sociopath? Well, I don't know. Would you mind if we ended today? I feel so bad. We just know that you didn't do anything, and now the girl has closure, so I, I, <laughs> I think we can all feel great about that. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I need to lie down before my next patient. Of course. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. That was really helpful. You know what? Why don't you charge me for the full session? No, it's fine. No, no, no. I, I would feel good about that. Charge me for the full 50 minutes. Okay. Really? Um, okay, well, hang in there. And, you know, obviously call me if you need to talk. Okay. Feel better. Sorry about all the... This is... Goodbye. Can I... You know what? Can I just ask you for one more quick favor, and then I promise I'm gonna... I'll leave? Sure. Um, is there any way that you could help me end it with Joel? Because I'm just... What? If you were going to break up with him, why did we just go through that? No, 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 no. I, when we first came in, I wasn't definitely sure I wanted to end it with him, but I was definitely sure I wanted to teach him a lesson because you can't just treat people like that. That's how people become bad. Someone is shitty to them, and then they start being shitty to other people. Anyway, it'll, it'll be really quick. We'll just... We'll tell him it's over. Can you leave him a voicemail? <laughs> Funny. Well, I, I... You are so special. Like, just such a good person. Joel! Did you maybe want to go back to your chair? Uh, 